hello there. So recently I've found myself somewhat surrounded by something and that something is tiny humans. Or at the very least humans growing tiny humans. So oh, many babies! Ah! It's everywhere. So I thought it'd be quite funny to have a wee look on the internet and uh, find out what some of the most popular Scottish baby names are right now. And before you say it or even think it or Put it in the comment section, I am not looking for myself. I am not El Prego. Do I look like I want to squeeze a watermelon through a keyhole? No me gusta. Let us continue. Once again to Google to get all the information. Most popular Scottish baba names. Top Scottish baby names for 2017. Wait. No, where's 2018? Ah, they've not released it for 2000. I'll take 2017, that's fine. Top Scottish baby names for 2017 revealed. Oh, this was December 2017. That's, that's, that's fine. Recent enough, I'll take it. Let's see. Hmm. Hang on, tables are too difficult to look at. Where's my laptop? I'll be back to now. Here we go. Get comfort. Ta-da! Oh, I've got a big alphabetical table. Woo-hoo! Alrighty. I cannot pronounce anything. Any of them. And the first Scottish name on the list is... Ale. <laughs> ale? Freaking ale? Isn't ale like a... Cold beverage? That's not right, that. That's not right. Oh, they've taken that one one step further. Albert. Albert, not Albert. Albert is not good enough for the Scots, apparently. Albert. Ailing. Ailsa. Why? <laughs> Hang on, Ali. That, that's normal. Aileen. I know that one. I know many an alien. Ainsley, I know one of them too. Hang on, let's move through the alphabet. a bit. Why is Bean on the list? Sorry, hang on. That one's from England. Ha! Sorry, James. <laughs> I don't know if people want this one pronounced Bernard or Bernard, but apparently it means strong as a beer. Wait, hang on, strong as a <laughs> It says strong as a beer. I thought it said beer. That's too many heels for the start of the video. Oh, we've got Burke, meaning birch tree. I think this isn't really like the most popular ones. This is just a massive list. Let's find the popular list again. Where was that? Oh, here we go. We've got male and female. Top 10s. Woohoo! And the top ranking name for 2017. Male babies with a total of 453 births registered is... Jack. Do you know what's really freaky here? It says here on the table that there was no change to the number of Jacks born and registered this year compared to last year. That's creeping me out a little bit. What else have we got? Oliver, James, mm -hmm. I wonder why I like that name. Lewis, Noah, Logan. I like the name Logan. I think the only reason I like it is because it reminds me of Wolverine. I may as well just call my child Wolverine. Harris, Alexander, Leo and Harry. Oh, let's check girls. With 484 births in the lead, it was Olivia, followed closely by Emily, to Isla, Sophie, Jessica, and me. Oh, my baby cousin's called Amelia. Ava, Ella, Charlotte, and Aria. I wonder where that last one came from. People from my generation who watched uh, Pretty Little Liars have started having babies and started calling their kids after the bloody characters. No way, they actually report statistics on that. It's like a bloody sport. It's like girls' highlights. Both Olivia and Emily cemented themselves in the top two places. Then we've got a section at the bottom that says Big Climbers. Theo was the 27th most popular boy's name in 2017 after climbing 18 places from last year and Jude has climbed 12 to 37. That's well because of The Walking Dead. Don't even try and tell me it's not. Don't even. Hang on, let's see what some unusual uh, Scottish names are. Apparently Brody is um, an interesting Scottish name. Um, it's a place in Moray, Scotland. Could be Gaelic for Little Ridge. Hang on, Leith's on the list? Leith's a place? Leith's a place in Edinburgh? What are you talking about? Leith? Pronounced L-E-E-T-H, as if you wouldn't think that anyway with the spelling of it. Uh. Both a district in Edinburgh and the name of a river. This comes from the Gaelic term for wet or damp. This one's actually quite nice. Payden. An alternative to Aiden, Caden and Hayden. It's from the word for royal. I quite like that. That's not bad. Oh, they've got girls' names too. Number four on the list is Elspeth. Not Elizabeth. Elspeth. Apparently it means chosen by God. Looks like it was chosen by someone who couldn't spell. I'm meaning no hate to anyone who's called Elspeth. That's just, it caught me off guard, okay? It caught me off guard. It's not every day you see 
you know, you see Elizabeth for the rest of your life and then you're confronted with that. Oh my god, my name, my name's on the list. Oh wait, it's not, it's K-I-R-S-T-Y. Also it says it's pronounced K-E-E-R-S-T-E-E. -E -E. Am I Kirsty? No. A Scottish form of Kirsten or Christine derived from the word Christ. Damn. We've got a wee list of non-traditional names at the bottom. It says that it's common, we're becoming more common in Scotland for people to use last names as first names. So uh, people calling their kids Campbell, Carson, Graham and Rowan. Apparently it's all the craze nowadays. I'ma grow up and call my kid Bryce. Oh wait, hang on, there's a shifty character in 13 Reasons called Britain. Nope. Oh, hang on guys, we've got 18 magical Scottish baby names that will make you want to have children. Let's put that to the test, shall we? Lausade. <laughs> it means graceful lie, apparently, and I cannot pronounce that. Imagine not being able to pronounce your own child's name. <laughs> Would put a wee bit of a spanner in the works, wouldn't it? Aaron, meaning high place. Isla, meaning the Queen of the Hebrides. Another one I can't pronounce. Bethan, meaning life. I know a Bethan. I'm gonna let her know that's what her name means. Ailsa, meaning the island of Valves. Sigur. Sounds like something out of Lord of the Rings. Coinage? Coinage. Give me your coinage, doesn't have a ring to it. Apparently it means handsome. I would rather call my kid handsome than coinage. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a wee picture of him. <laughs> Did anyone else look at that the first time round and think it said diarrhea? <laughs> I'm the most immature person. And so on and so forth, we have other names. Um. You know, strangely enough, after reading that, you know, it claimed that it would make me want to have children. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't make me want to have children. Not right now, anyway. I can't believe I actually thought one of them said diarrhea. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that wee video. Laptop, stay where you are, please. I hope you learned something. I hope you learned some more, you know, new and popular and completely unusual and weirdly spelt Scottish names. Let me know in the comments any ones that you've found on the internet. Go do some research you know, points to the person who can find me the weirdest one possible. I'm actually just a wee bit curious, where does my name come from? Like the spelling of my name, because I know K-I-R-S-T-Y is typically Scottish. What is K-I-R-S-T-I-E? Hmm. Where does the name Kirsty come from? Oh, and Google automatically wants to connect. <laughs> Google's trying to correct it to K-I-R-S-T-Y. Do I not exist or something? I give up. But yes, as usual, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Scottishy rubbish come out of my cake hole. I will put that playlist right over there and down there will be the first video in my mental health awareness and suicide prevention fundraiser series. If you haven't seen the video please do check it out. It's for a very very worthwhile cause. It's for a local charity to me and one that has done incredible things for people that I know and that I care very much about. But there's still so much that they can do so if you want to donate to try and raise funds for this amazing charity called Here For You the link is in the top line of the description and it will stay there until the 24th of February next year. But other than that, much love you guys and I shall see you all on Friday. I'm loving this regular upload thing. Bye!